Hi, I'm Mark Gibbs with The Great Outdoors Nursery in Austin, Texas. And today we snuck inside, it's kind of frigid out there, so we're gonna talk about something beautiful, which are gonna be African violets. Um, as you can see, we've got a really great selection that we cycle through, and little baby two inch we'll get. We get some four inch, and then we've actually started getting some stunning six inch ones, uh, which are really, really flushed out nicely. So as you can see in our display here, we've got them in some closed trays where we can water into the tray and let them wick up from the bottom. That's one of the most important things you need to know about violets is they don't like water from the top. So if you're gonna water and you don't have a violet pot, you wanna get that water coming in from the bottom. Uh, if you have a violet pot, these are African violet pots. There's quite a few different ones. You plant down in the little container here, the clay is gonna soak in water that you're gonna have in your basin or your well. So one of the important things to remember here is when you put that water in here, we only need that water to be in there maybe six to eight hours. It doesn't have to be in there for days and days and days. We wanna pull this out. We'll see that it's completely changed color. It's nice and moist. We know that root ball is pulling that moisture through the clay. And in a few, maybe seven to 10 days, we'll check this again and see if this has begun to dry out. If it has, then we'll put some more water back in the well, but we just don't want that water standing in the well. It can get kind of gross if it does. Um, and you really want that airflow to continue. Uh, so you want that water out of there. So you allow that air to penetrate and let that soil soak up that moisture from the interior of the clay. Um, there is African violet potting soil. So you wanna be sure to use that if you're going into a transplant or you're refreshing your soil, uh, which we do recommend doing after a year, year and a half. Uh, that's gonna get that soil nice and healthy again. Um, and get rid of any buildup that you've had from side effects from bad water. When we're talking about water, we'll put rainwater in these for the water cycles. Uh, you can use RO water or distilled water, but you really wanna avoid the tap water. It really messes with the soil and the root systems, uh, and you will see buildup from that. So you wanna try to avoid that if possible. Um, the African violet pots come in different sizes as well. So depending on what you're gonna be going into or what size you're starting with and going into, we can help you pick the right size and the right well that you need for your plant. Uh, there is African violet food, um, and this is a pretty minimal ratio. It's a one, three, one. So this is something that you're gonna use when it's begun to cycle down in the flowers. Um, what's great is this company has added some trichoderma and some bacillus which really help the soil stay healthy again. Because it's in that closed environment with the clay, um, we want that soil to stay nice and rich, and this prevents any disease from building up at the soil level. So definitely check that out for your in-between cycles on watering. You can see we've also got a light system up here. Uh, one of the things that you've got to do with violets is they need an, uh, uh, 14 hours of daylight, 10 hours of sleep time, uh, and that sleep time is what promotes that next bloom cycle. If they're getting 24 seven sun, you're gonna have a really vegetative plant. It may get huge, but you may miss flower cycles because it's not getting enough time to sleep to build up that flower bud and that flower cycle. So when you get your light balanced right, Eastern windows are pretty good for that, dictating that on and off cycle. Um, so when you see it cycling down on the blooms, that's when you wanna start fertilizing again because we know we're getting into a sleep time and that's gonna help that build up. That three in there is gonna be what promotes the root system growth and promotes some flower cycle. So if you have any questions or you need any direction on what things to put together to get your violet nice and happy, please let us know. We'd be glad to help you out.